and welcome to Exothermic Plays Games. I'm Exothermic, and the date today is Saturday, February 24th, 2024. That means it's the 55th day of ranking my favorite video games through each day of the year. Coming in at number 312 is Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Cthulhu Saves Christmas is the prequel to Cthulhu Saves the World, and it wastes no time at all letting you know that in-universe. This game is loaded with fourth wall breaks and puns, and it's half the reason to play it, if not more. There's basically two parts to the game. First, you have an adventure JRPG. Santa Claus is abducted, and somehow it falls upon the shoulders of Cthulhu to save him from the League of Christmas Evil, as you progressively find each member of the League, raid their dungeon, beat them up, and start looking for the next member. Combat is focused on two ideas. Each character has a bunch of abilities that can only be used once per round, and two abilities that are repeatable. One of the repeatable abilities is basically a rest, which resets your used abilities, allowing you to use them again. Additionally, you can use once per battle unite attacks, pairing two members of your party for special attacks depending on which two you pair. These unite attacks build up a boost percentage over time during the battle, getting increasingly strong, encouraging you to save them for later, but you might need them earlier than expected as you find yourself in tough positions. You can also use items which are not actually consumed, but are still one-time use per battle. You'll still have them for the next fight, so no need to hoard all of those potions because you just might need them later. While the adventuring is the bulk of what you'll be spending your time doing, it's not the only focus of this game, and there's a lot of quality of life things they do during those sections. For starters, you only have to do up to 10 random encounters per area. Once you've done the 10, they won't appear anymore unless you want to. If you still want to grind or just enjoy the combat, you can open the menu and manually start a fight. If you're making your way through an area and want to make sure you don't get lost, you can push the combat off as you press the start button when you're stopped for the encounter. The other aspect of the game, which is where it really shines, is forming character relationships. Between each adventure dungeon, you have several days that you're stuck in Christmas Town where you can become friends with your party members or engage with the community of the town. This is not only the primary way you'll obtain gear, but it's also the primary way to deliver jokes. This whole game is just one big excuse for jokes and excellent puns. The humor of the game really lands between the dialogue and fourth wall breaks, and for that reason, accompanied by serviceable combat and a short story that doesn't overstay its welcome, Cthulhu Saves Christmas earned a spot on my rankings. Join me tomorrow as I talk about the 311th game on my list, where I grossly misrepresent the theory of evolution.